We're taking a walk in downtown Oxford today and I've come across Bryant's Karate. I've never done karate, but I think it's really cool and you see it in the movies and on TV, so I'm gonna go inside and see how I do. Hi there, my name is David. Hi David, I'm Lisa Bryant, how are you? Good, how are you? You're here for a lesson today? I think so, let's see what we can do. Okay, <laughs> well first of all you gotta change your clothes. So all I'm right. gonna have you um, put on a gear. Good, you good. I kept the socks on though because the bathroom floor was so cold. <laughs> okay, well, we have to remove our socks. I will, I will. Yeah, okay. All right. You, um, so you're going to tie the OB on you. Okay. Is there any special yep. way? Yep. So take it around, out or around and now bring it back on one, each side. Okay. You're going to cross it over in the back. Yep. Now, this is the important list, your first lesson. Right over left. Right over left. Okay. And then you're going to tie that. Like so? Yep. Okay. And then now left over right. Left over right. Yep, and then I bring that. And then nice tight knot. Okay. Perfect. That was your first lesson. <laughs> and I passed. <laughs> you passed. Okay. And okay. then we're actually in the waiting room right now, so we're going to go into the dojo. All right, so we, before we walk into the dojo, which is our workout area, we bow to the dojo. Okay. So there you go. All right. <laughs> About Brian's um, well, we've been in business since 1993. Um, we've been teaching in Oxford since 2000. Before that, we taught in Auburn Hills um, at various locations. That's where um, we moved from when we moved to Oxford. Um, we're Ishinru style karate, which is um, Okinawan, Japanese style where we do a lot of tournaments, and um, we don't expect our, all of our students to, to participate, but um, the majority of them do. And we do quite well um, on the Michigan Sport Karate Circuit. We took um, eight first places this year, eight state titles. Um, and um, we just, it's like passion of my husband and I, and we just have fun with it. And now you love it? I do love it. I love, um, I love the teaching. I love um, developing the kids. and making them, you know, as we call them, karatekas, karate students, and um, I love the coaching that we do at the tournaments and things like that, so, yeah, it's just, um, it's just, I don't even know, like, people say, what do you do, you know, like, when you go home from work every day, I don't know what we would do, <laughs> you know, this is just our, our life, we're up here three nights a week, and then, like I said, we're, we have tournaments every other, almost every other weekend, at least, so it keeps us very, very busy, and you know, both of our kids um, are in it, and um, so it's a family, a family affair. You know, we don't run a huge school. Um, again, we don't do it full time, and we we like the students that are here to be here because they want to be here. Not, <clears throat> you know, we're not like running a mill of, you know, got a hundred students and we're just getting them through and, you know, tying belts on them. So we have a good core of about 40 to 50 students that we run. And um, we have a karate team of, you know, about 20. So the other 30, you know, die hard. They come in, get their, you know, lesson done and, you know, and then go on with their day. And the other ones are here maybe three, four, sometimes five times a week. And tell me about karate. Um, you know, I'm, there are a lot of kids that don't do well with sports in school, but they can come and do something like this. How is it beneficial? It's beneficial because it's individual. You know, you can come as a, in a, into a class and um, like parents will ask me, well, is there sessions? And, and some schools do have sessions, but we just say no, because your child will eventually catch up. You know, we have um, 15 basic punches, eight kicks, and then once you learn that, then you start learning forms and patterns. So you, you get right into the, the class and some kids learn quicker than others. What are we gonna do? <laughs> okay, we're gonna have um, a first lesson and basically, since you're an adult, you're going to learn quicker than, say, one of my six-year-olds. So we're going to teach you four punches and four kicks, and then we're going to execute the moves that I teach you on the back. Well, 
me see you make a fist. So I'm gonna teach her a proper fist. Okay. So our punches are straight. Okay. We're not gonna turn it. Okay. okay. And it's kind of like um, we snap it out like that. So it's not gonna be a push. Okay. Um, you actually get more power in your snap. Okay. Do you turn like that too? Well, we're gonna go straight. <laughs> So okay. first off is um, we're going to get like shoulder width apart. Okay. This is your um, ready stance for basics. And then we're going to take our nice tight fist and put them by our OB. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to step up right. So you can watch me do it once and then snap it out. And this is a um, lunge punch. And we're pretending, I always use that word, <laughs> I have to use it with kids, that we're hitting someone our own size in the stomach. So it's not going to be high. It's not going to be low. Okay. So it's your level. You know, you can kind of know where your own stomach is. So we're going to step up and snap it out. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to count. And you can key A if you want, or you don't have to say anything. But I'm going to count in Japanese. That's what we count. So ready? Okay. Each. There you go. Nay. We step up the other way. And then this hand goes back to your obi. And this one stays stay out. Yep. We're going to do four. San. She. Wait, I'm confused. I'm not coordinated. It's okay. <laughs> you did good. It's just like walking. Oh, this one stays out. Yep. Okay. Then we're gonna we can step back. Normally we would go backwards, but Plus, I don't even know what you're saying. I'm counting in Japanese. I'm <laughs> okay. And the kicks are easier. Okay. Okay. I at least I think so. All right. So our kicking stance is hands on your relax on your obi. This okay. is gonna help you with balance. Right leg in the rear. Now this is the leg that's gonna kick. Okay. We're going to do a front snap kick, which we kind of bring our knee up and snap it out, okay? And then we're, as you're doing this kick, think that you're curling your toes back and you're aiming with the ball of your foot because you don't want to kick ever with your toes or you'll end up breaking them, okay? Okay. So it's like that. But, you know, see how my toes kind of yeah. work back or like that? Okay. And it's just a quick snap. And um, the higher you get your knee, the higher your kick's gonna go. So if my knee was only pointed here, that's a low kick. Okay? Okay. Your knee is kind of like where you aim. Okay. Okay, ready? Are we walking while we do this? Nope. Or just We're just gonna kick and set it right back. Okay. And keep your hands on your waist because you'll start doing this. Okay. You'll fall over. <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. We're gonna do five. Margo Van Horn and I'm the hostess for How Great Thou Art and we interview different artists and show their artwork and I hope you join us because it's very educational and if you have any artistic talent this would be a way to improve it and get it out there. the bag instead of from this stance ready position we're gonna go to fighting stance okay so a nice tight fighting guard and then when I count and you're gonna kind of twist your body into it and okay. really throw the power in there like that okay okay let's see how you do we'll <laughs> ready I guess <laughs> make sure I think you're close enough you have long arm yep there you go ready H nay Son, she, go, ush. Okay, and the only thing is what you'll get better on is you tend to drop in your guard, and this is your protector. So we're gonna do that front snap kick. We're gonna kind of stand in the same position, but our hands are gonna be up, so you're gonna be a little off balance because you're not used to it. And the same thing, get that knee up and strike with the ball of your foot. So it's really important <clears throat> then to Lift up then? Yep. Okay. Yeah, if you don't lift up, you're, kick the you're kicking the bag. here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. All right, we'll try this. So as I make sure you're close enough. Yeah, how will I know? Well, you can set it. There you go. Yep. Okay. Ready? Yep. Each. Keep up. Yep. Each. Curl the toes a little bit more. Nay. 
Son. She. Go. Ush, good job. Rear leg roundhouse, you get a lot of power because you're going you're gonna to put a lot of your body weight behind it. Okay. Same thing. Always keep your hands up in a guard. And then you're going to pivot on the front, and I'm going to swing my whole body in. Like that. So you're kind of kicking with the top part of your foot, and you're going to want to bring your foot like that at an angle. Okay? okay. Okay, want to try that? Yeah. <laughs> You'll like so you're this putting one. You're putting your whole body into it. <clears throat> you're just, yeah. You see, you're kind of, you're swinging all the way around. Okay. So, P so you're pivoting on? You're pivoting on the front and bringing everything around. Okay. As, and also remembering to keep, to keep your hands your up in the guard. Yep. Okay. We'll okay, ready? Goes, whatever. Yep. Okay. All right, each. Get a little higher, you get <laughs> on the bottom. Don't want to hit the bottom. <laughs> Not used to that. <clears throat> Yeah, okay. it stings a little because it's the top of your foot, yeah. which is tender. That's nice. Nay. <laughs> there you go. Better. <clears throat> Son. She. Go. Ush. Good job. <laughs> but you, you'll get it. That's um, when we have... Coming back, it's hard to... Right. When we have... Um, we do a lot of bag work and we'll let the kids, you know, okay, pick, pick your one. And I guarantee 10 of the kids are going to pick roundhouse. Yeah. Do a catch, that's what this is called. And it's kind of like the sidekick we just did. And you're gonna <clears throat> lean over. Okay. That'd be like if someone was running in on both sides. Kick that guy, kick that guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like in the movies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I'm gonna get up a little, I'm gonna stagger so okay. we don't kick each other. So we We're start gonna go with... right, left. Yep, so our hands here, right, swap over, left. Okay. Ready? Yep. Each. Nay. Oops. Son, it's two kicks for, for number. <laughs> she, and go. Ush, good job. That was kick five, so you learned five <laughs> kicks today. Yes. <laughs>
the men and women of Fugitive Apprehension TV. taking a walk today in downtown Oxford and I've come across Merge Studio and Gallery. I'm somewhat of an artsy guy, so I want to go inside and check it out. Hi there, I'm David. Hi, I'm Carrie Collins. Welcome to Merge Studio and Gallery. No, well, most all of it's local, but um, we do have to, the silk rope up there is from Africa and the butterfly um, artwork is from Africa. It's a mission program. Is this too? Yep. I saw this earlier. It's all made of silk rope. So these, there is a guy that lives in uh, upstate New York who spends half his time in Africa and half of it here. And so he works with a whole bunch of different artists in Africa and he brings the work back and sells it and then the money goes to build schools and orphanages really? and stuff like that. We have all the artists price their own stuff and the gallery just gets a commission on what sells. So yeah, we, they determine the prices. Um, it's better that way, I don't really right. want to be the one to tell somebody how much their time is worth. <laughs> right. These over here are the green and tan pieces are Denise. She's our pottery instructor. Um, it's just her finished work. She's been a professional potter for 20, 20, 30 years. And I was hoping she could be here today mm -hmm. for you guys to film because she can, it takes her like 10 minutes to throw a bowl like really? this yeah and so then some of these pieces in here are pieces she's thrown here at the studio and then our staff our artists have painted them so we have some of the studio work that is for sale these are um, sculptures made of scrap metal and and it's like basically recycling it. My brother, who lives in Jackson, actually makes those pieces. And uh, we do. We sometimes have more smaller ones also. My nephew, who is 16, also builds them. Really? Yeah. And so they're welders? Yep. Yep. So we have classes on, one, on well, first of the year, they'll be on Wednesday and Thursday. And Denise, the professional, potter comes in and teaches people how to throw. So these pieces back here are students work that is um, drying. These have not been fired yet. So they've been thrown on the wheel and they haven't been fired yet. And then we fire them once at a like lower. These ones have been fired? Yeah, those have been finished fired. Yep. Oh a lower temperature, then they come out and they look like these here. So they've been fired once and then now they're like at this state, they're ready to paint. So these pieces up here are all student work and they, um, Can know. anybody come in here and like paint and fire? And fire? Like if you, I mean, say you painted something, will you fire it and whatnot for them? Yeah, yeah. So this this clay and that class is the high fire clay, and this is kind of the the end product of the the ceramics class. But if you don't want to come for six weeks and take the whole class, um, we have bisqueware that is already fired once, and you can come in and just sit down and paint it. 
Really? Yeah. So that's what the shelves in the back, all that, the white ceramic there is ready to be painted. And then we fire it and... Uh, the stuff closest to us? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Margo Van Horn and I'm the hostess for How Great Thou Art and we interview different artists and show their artwork and I hope you join us because it's very educational and if you have any artistic talent this would be a way to improve it and get it out there. So first we start with the drawing and then we use graphite paper to trace it onto the piece of ceramics mm -hmm. and lead, pencil lead, will burn off in the kiln. Oh really? So anything you draw will burn away in the kiln. So that's one thing, people come in and they go, oh, I'm not creative, I can't paint a straight line. I go. We can help you. <laughs> I mean, we the can. Miracle of tracing. Yes, we can print off things off the computer. You don't even have to have an idea. You can just search. We can search on the computer and find images you like, and transfer them literally from the computer onto a piece of ceramics. So then, once it's drawn on there, you can just. It's like painting in a coloring book. You just fill in the spaces. Oh good, there's an eraser. <laughs> <laughs> it erases some, yeah, but not to totally. To Oxford Community Television logo on this plate. I'm just gonna look at it a little bit. What colors do you guys use? I don't think I've ever drawn on a plate before though. <laughs> It's just a little rougher than paper. Yeah? Yeah. And this burns off, you say? Yep. Yeah. This weekend we have two parties on Saturday and two parties on Sunday birthday parties. Then next weekend, we have a corporate Christmas party for a company of about 45 people. And Victoria's is catering it. And we they booked a comedian from the Mark Ridley Comedy Castle to actually come here and do a show. Really? Yep. That'll be fun. Yeah. So... And then, so then next weekend we have three parties on Saturday and two on Sunday. There's like six different badges that are like art badges that the Brownies and Girl Scouts and that can do. So we offer those they can the troop leaders can schedule a day and a time and come in and we will teach them and do the badge for for them for the troop leaders like there's a photography one we have we book those with Barb who is our photography teacher and there's a bookmaking one where they actually cover a cov make the cover and use the actual book binding and sew the books together. And then the kids take them home and make, you know, fill the pages with the story. 
So what color, like these letters here, we will, you can use um, the thin ones. Okay. You can use this. Oh, good. See those makes nice little lines. Yeah. These can make dots. Yep, that will. Even if it's under the paint? Yep. All comes off. So now that these are finished, we can, let's take these back and pick yours up. We'll take them back and set them on the shelf to dry. So then after they've dried overnight, this is clear, clear, high gloss, clear gla overglaze. We had to keep it stirred up. It likes to settle. That's clear and mm -hmm. it's green. <laughs> well, it's like liquid glass, so that's why it has this green color. So. So this is the kiln that's run overnight. We have, it's run by a computer here on the front and the firing cycle takes seven hours. And then it takes a good four or five hours to cool down. So um, we turn it on at night when we leave. We load it all with the stuff that has the green on it. Then we turn it on at night when we leave. And then in the morning, we slowly open it. Van Horn and I'm the hostess for How Great Thou Art and we interview different artists and show their artwork and I hope you join us because it's very educational and if you have any artistic talent this would be a way to improve it and get it out there. Well, this is a beautiful place you have here. Thank you so much for showing me around and letting me paint that plate. Yeah, you're welcome. We're glad to have you and hope you bring back all your friends and check it out when it's all finished. Yeah, maybe I'll have a corporate party or something. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Thanks, it was nice to meet you. Thanks, have a good weekend. You too. So that was a lot of fun. Carrie is a great instructor here at Merge and really if you're not comfortable with drawing something or painting, there's stencils that you can use. You can use the carbon paper, put it right on the pottery. I think this will make a great place for gifts around the holidays. Come check out Merge Studio and Gallery here in downtown Oxford. And remember, next time we might be taking a walk in your neighborhood.